Okay, so hello and welcome everyone. In this video, I'm gonna talk about interpreting the Cobb-Douglas MRS relative to a quiz question that I'd, I'd given. So, uh, in the exercise, kind of recall the exercise, Bob's utility is going to be just Cobb-Douglas. So, utility coming over the amount of X consumed and the amount of Y consumed is just the product of those quantities, right? So, X times Y. The marginal rate of substitution corresponding to this preference structure is just going to be y over x. You can go and write this out and, and, and uh, solve for that. The easiest way would be to take the log transform, take the natural log, monotone transformation of this. So it would be like natural log x plus natural log y. Take the partials, so you'll have mux will be 1 over x, muy will be 1 over y. So you'll take 1 over x divided by 1 over y, which is 1 over x times y over 1 and you'll get your y over x. Anyway, so if Bob consumes two units of x and y, eight units of y, then here was the question. Part, uh, multiple choice. A, Bob is willing to make small exchanges where Bob gives up four units of y to get one additional unit of x. Uh, B, Bob is willing to make small exchanges where Bob gives up one unit of y to get four additional x. C, Bob is willing to make small exchanges where Bob gives up one unit of y for an additional x, or D, none. Okay, so the quick way to solve this is just, let's take my two units, let's take my eight units, plug this in, so eight divided by two is four, and then the interpretation of the MRS is, I'm willing to give up, you know, move down Y units, move down four units to move over one. Uh, so the interpretation leads us to, Bob is willing to make small exchanges where he gives up, where Bob gives up four units of Y to get an additional X. Okay, so, but let's visualize this. Let's see what's going on here. So looking over the answer, marginal rate of substitution, that's y over x. Let's evaluate at this particular bundle. So the MRS is 8 over 2, or MRS is 4, which is telling us Bob is going to give up 4 units of y for 1 unit of x. Here's the picture of what's going on there. 2 units of x, 8 units of y. Okay, here the marginal rate of substitution it has a slope of the line tangent to the curve. It's pretty steep. It's going to have a slope of 4. So it's telling us at this point instantaneously, the infinitesimal change that Bob would be willing to make is to give up four units of y for one unit of x. Now let's take a look deeper here though. Let's look a lot, let's look a lot deeper. So here was the utility function, x, y, and we were evaluating it at this particular bundle. So two times eight was a utility level of 16. So remember, we can represent this with a series of indifference curves where each corresponds to a level of utility k. So k is x, y. Here, k is 16. So right, if k is x, y, we can solve this thing for y. This gives us an you know, equation that we can graph. It's actually level sets of the utility function. So we'll have y is equal to k over x, where k corresponds to higher levels of utility. Here we're going to have y is equal to 16 over x. That'll give us our equation. Anyway, let's trace out the bundles on this indifference curve. So maybe this is easier to see. So I just, let's take x and y, 1 and 16, 2 and 8, 4 and 4, 8 and 2, 16 and 1. Let's plot it on the indifference curve. So here is the bundle, 1 and 16. Here's the bundle, 2 and 8. Here's the bundle, 4 and 4, 8 and 2, 16 and 1. So these are all the bundles that correspond to 16 units of utility. And of course, there's, you know, this indifference curve is dense with bundles, so there's a lot of other ones that are not nice, friendly integers to work with. I just didn't bother to illustrate them all. Here, the, the red dashed line is the, is the slope of the line tangent to the curve. So the MRS, the slope of the line tangent to the curve, slope of the line at this point, is 16. Here the MRS is 4. Here it's 1. Here it's 1 fourth. Here it's 1 16th. Right, so the indifference curve is going to have different slopes at different points when we have this nice, well-behaved, convex Cobb-Douglas preferences. Now, my comment is, remember, these are small, instantaneous, infinitesimal changes, small exchanges, right? From the statement of the question, statement of the exercise, it was small changes. Matter of fact, if you were to actually follow the line tangent to the curve, that would take you to a lower indifference curve immediately, right? Like, this is the line, this is the tangent line, the line tangent to the curve. Imagine if you have like a weight at the end of a string and you're spinning it around and then you let it go, it's going to fly off on a tangent and it's going to immediately lose or leave the, the, the loop you're spinning it on. I think of like basic projectile motion. Anyway, so what's going to happen is if we actually made the trade, we're going to be 
Well, as soon as we get here, we're on a different and lower indifference curve. Matter of fact, if you were to enact any of these trades, because of the way we think of indifference curves, and because there's one like infinitesimally close to this one, so the lower level utility would be like 15.99999 times 10 to the millionth or whatever. Uh, anyway, so here is our 10 to the, you know, whatever. So uh, you would be on a lower indifference curve here or as soon as you you'd make these changes. So what what MRS is giving us is giving us the line, the slope of the line at this point, slope of the line actually tangent to the curve at this particular point. So it's a calculus infinitesimally small sort of uh, concept is what we're what we're going for here. Nevertheless, the interpretation is indeed at that point, Bob would be willing to give up 16 units of y to get an additional unit of x. Here, Bob's willing to give up four units of y to get one more x, one unit of y for one x. And then here, Bob would give up one unit of y to get four units of x, or one unit of uh, y to get 16 units of x. Right? Anyway, so hope that helps clarify, kind of visualizing what the indifference curve is doing. Remember, the indifference curve is all the bundles that maintain that level of utility because by definition of a difference curve, the agent is indifferent between anything on that particular curve. So anyway, hope that helps.